What's going on guys, Snickle here, and in this video I'll be walking you through how to get all the online trophies for Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation 4. This guide will be the most efficient way to get all of the online trophies, and the only way to do that nowadays is you must boost since the player base for the game is basically non-existent. I just want to clear that up before moving forward into the guide, so if you aren't interested in boosting for online trophies, then disregard any of the specific boosting methods that I discuss, but you can use the general principles in order to obtain the trophies legitimately if you are able to find other players. Before we go any further, I want to let you know that this guide is brought to you by Rep Sports. Rep Sports provides all kind of workout and energy supplements that you can use to get you through gaming, boosts, workouts, or just your day-to-day -day life. I personally enjoy their Raise Energy line of product, which is a zero sugar energy drink that helps me get through my never ending backlog of games. If you're interested, there's a link to their site in the description below. If you decide to buy anything, be sure to use coupon code SNICKLE at checkout to get 15% off your entire order. Anyway, let's get back to your regularly scheduled programming. Tomb Raider has a total of 15 online trophies. You will need four players for a majority of the trophies because of needing four people to start a ranked match but a majority of the time and grind can be done solo. Level ranking can be done in private matches, but there are trophies tied specifically to ranked matches that are very easy to complete. Also to note, there is barely anyone, if anyone, playing the game anymore, so your encounters with random people should be left to a minimum. If you are looking for others to play Tomb Raider or other games with, be sure to check out PSN Profiles. This is a site made for trophy hunters by trophy hunters that has a multitude of features. There will be a link below to the gaming sessions portions of the site where you can set up sessions to boost whatever trophies you would need, but be sure to check out all the other great features that the site has to offer as well. In order to complete all of the online trophies, it can take anywhere between 12 to 15 hours depending on how long the miscellaneous trophies take, but a majority of this time will go to leveling up. Anyway, with that intro out of the way, let's get into this guide. Starting off, I want to discuss the trophies related to matches and game modes. There are a total of two of these trophies. The first trophy that you should be going for is I'm All That, which is to win a ranked match in every multiplayer mode. There are a total of four modes that need to be won, these being Rescue, Team Deathmatch, Cry For Help, and Free For All. Just be sure to keep switching the modes between each game for you and your boosting partners depending on what everybody needs. After either winning or completing all of the games, you should then also earn the trophy Adventurer, which is to complete a match in all multiplayer modes. Since you will need a win in each mode and ranked, you will obviously have to play in each mode as well. Now I want to get into all the trophies that you will earn within matches, where you may need to set up some situations and have a little coordination with your boosting group. There are a total of 9 of these trophies. Starting off, we have the trophy Artilleryman, which is to kill 20 enemy players in multiplayer using a turret. There are two maps that have turrets, that being Beach and Underground. Personally, we use Beach and we did this in any mode, but you can do this in Rescue as the team who is supposed to be collecting the meds. Simply just have two players on the other team and have one player continuously die and have the other player keep reviving them until you get 20 kills. Another trophy that requires a few kills is the trophy Lights Out, which is to kill 10 multiplayer enemies using your melee attack. You attack with Triangle, and you can do a charge or sneak attack as well using the Climbing Axe. Simply just kill 10 people with the Climbing Axe throughout any of the game modes. Eventually, you will be the player that will be reviving someone while someone is getting their 20 turret kills. Reviving a player will earn you the trophy Good Samaritan, which is to revive a teammate in a multiplayer match. Another trophy that you will get incidentally to this will be Soul Survivor, which is to be the only player that isn't downed or dead in a multiplayer match. Next is the trophy Down Boy, which is to kill a zip lining enemy player in multiplayer. There are plenty of zip lines around any of the maps. You can kill the player while they are either zip lining or using the Ascender. You must kill them though before they do touch the ground. The easiest way to do this is to stand at the bottom of a zip line and shoot the player as they're coming down. If this doesn't work, you can also have them use the ascender and basically sit still on the rope and then you can kill them while they're just sitting there. Now is the trophy Entrapment, which is to catch a player in a snare trap in multiplayer. Snare traps are interactable objects around any of the maps in the game. Simply just find one and press square to use it. Then once it's set, have an enemy player walk over it. The next trophy can be a little tricky initially, but once you learn it, it'll be quite easy. 
The trophy is Escapist, which is to survive 10 explosions in multiplayer. The good news is that you can do this alone, but it will take you a few attempts to get the distance of the explosion right away from you. You can just drop a grenade at your side and walk away. You must obviously take damage from the grenade, but you must not die. You restock grenades at any of the yellow breakable salvage boxes found around any of the maps, but Underground does have the most number of yellow boxes if you want to do it on that map. Related to explosions, there is the trophy Master Blaster, which is to kill two enemies with a single explosion. While on any map, you will find random red barrels sitting around. These barrels provide more of an explosion than any item that you would have equipped, so get two enemies near these barrels and then either shoot them or hit them with an explosive of your own. Lastly is the trophy Monkey Around, which is in a multiplayer, escape death three times by using the Rope Ascender. You can do this easily in free-for-all, but any mode will work. To escape death, you must have below 25% health. Another way of knowing you are below 25% health is that your screen will kind of turn black and white. Once this happens, be at the bottom of a zip line and just simply press square and ascend up the zip line and escape. All you need to do is do this a total of three times. Another note is that only the Solary will have the rope ascender, so you need to make sure that you're on that team when you're going for this. The last section of this guide will cover items and level-related trophies, which will by far take you the longest amount of time to complete. Let's start off with one of the longest grinds in the game, which is the trophy True Commitment, which is to reach level 60 in multiplayer. Tagging along with that trophy will also be the trophy On My Way Up, which is to reach level 10 in multiplayer. In order to reach level 60, you must gain 1,771,100 XP total. Now this may sound like a lot, and it is, but with self-boosting this can take you around 11-ish hours. This is because you will earn approximately 27,000 experience per match, and that match will take on average around 10 minutes to complete, including the load times. Now, how do we set up this match? From the main menu, you want to create a private match of rescue on the map Beach. Now, when in the player lobby, you want to make sure that you are on the survivor side, and in match settings, change the med kits to retrieve the max of 20. When in the match, just simply go around and collect the med kits and bring them back. Whenever your route takes you past salvage boxes, be sure to collect them just in case the next section doesn't work out for you. Continue to do these matches until you reach level 60, which will again take you around 11-ish hours or so, if you are being as efficient as possible. Lastly are the trophies that are related to buying characters and upgrades. There is a caveat to these trophies that I will break down, but first you will need to buy a character which will unlock you the trophy Narcissistic. This is to purchase a new multiplayer character. Now we have the trickier trophy, which is Shopaholic, which is to buy every upgrade and character in multiplayer. The caveat to this is that you actually may not need to buy all of the upgrades. As you are leveling up, be sure to keep buying each character that you unlock as you're going along. Once you reach level 60, you will be able to buy Lara Croft for 10,000 salvage. In total, you'll need around 36,000 salvage to buy all of the characters, but you'll earn that naturally while just leveling up and doing all of those matches. Where the caveat starts is that once you unlock Lara, you want to close your game and then reopen it. Upon reopening the game, you should unlock the Shopaholic Trophy. For some reason, the game sometimes glitches and gives the trophy just for buying all of the characters, now, if you are unlucky and you don't get the trophy this way, you sadly do have to buy all of the upgrades. That is why I was suggesting to collect salvage as you're leveling up in those matches. Just in case this doesn't happen, you should have sufficient salvage in order to buy all of the upgrades as well. You may need to do a little extra grinding to unlock everything, but it shouldn't be too bad as long as you were collecting that salvage as you were leveling up in those matches. Regardless of if you boost or how you get XP, at this point you should have earned every trophy and completed the multiplayer for Tomb Raider on the PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4. Depending if you boost or if your group is coordinated or how you do the XP, this multiplayer should take you no more than 15 hours to complete. And the best part about it all is that a majority of your time will be spent doing leveling, which can be done 100% by yourself. Given the age of the game and the next generation of consoles being launched, older games like this, and especially the PS3 version, are seemingly getting shut down quicker and quicker day by day. 
so if you want to do this on the PlayStation 3, I would advise to start it sooner rather than later. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you found it enjoyable or informative, be sure to leave a like below. I will leave links to useful guides and sites in the description below as well for your convenience. If you would like to see this type of video on any other game, be sure to leave a comment below. I will only make these types of videos on games that I personally complete, so I can give my personal insight on how to make it more efficient for you. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments below, or if you have any questions, be sure to leave them below as well. Again, please give the video a like if you enjoyed it or it was informative, and if you've made it this far and you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing for more trophy content like this. Anyway, I hope to see you guys around sometime soon.